Uh, chance for uh, snow in parts of our lovely state. Yes, there's snow moving into Colorado as we speak. We have some winter weather advisories in effect, and it looks like a slight chance for a few flakes. You know, I'm like, a little bit here in Denver. <laughs> the higher your voice uh, goes yeah. up, the lower the chance. <laughs> Just a smidge. Higher the voice, lower the chance. Yes, 40 degrees by 7 o'clock tonight, 37 by 9 o'clock, and 35 by 11 o'clock. And we do have a storm system coming in from the west, but you wouldn't know it by looking outside right now. We've had a beautiful sunset here, looking from City Park out toward the mountains, and we have partly cloudy skies at this point. We saw Santa today taking a little break. Um, Dustin Schaefer sent in this photo of Santa up on the list today and getting in a few runs because of course it was so beautiful at Loveland ski area today. Now it will be dry in Denver tonight with lows in the 30s and we are expecting Christmas snow for the mountains and there's that little chance for a few flurries possible late Wednesday night mostly because of the location of the storm as it's moving through Colorado. We're going to get the snow up in the mountains but not a whole lot here in Denver, but we may see a few flakes. Our highs this afternoon were a little cooler in the low 50s today instead of in the 60s, 30s and 40s for the high country and 40s out for the western slope near Grand Junction. Currently, we're sitting at 45 degrees in Denver and in Parker, 38 in Golden, and 41 for Firestone, farther to the north. Here's that winter weather advisory. So as the storm is coming in from the west, we're expecting about 4 to 8 inches of snow for our northern and central mountains. Now, we could see locally heavier amounts, up to about 12 inches in some of the higher peaks and, um, and areas such as Tell Telluride, 6 to 12 inches of snow. And this goes through Wednesday night. So this storm system is coming into Colorado. It's just off to our west right now and all that energy is going to flow right on up into our state. So tra travel may be tough here in the next 24 to 48 hours off through western Colorado, but our lows tonight will be in the low 30s here teens and 20s up to the high country here in Denver 32 degrees with partly cloudy skies tonight. Our hourly planner for tomorrow waking up early. I know Kids will be waking up earlier than 8 a.m. to open presents, but at 8 a.m. the temperature will be 35 degrees. We'll be in the 50s for the afternoon and then back down into the 30s for the evening hours. Ski forecast looks great. It'll be chilly, but we're going to have snow on Wednesday and Thursday morning. 25 on Thursday up at a basin, but a wind chill factor eight below into the afternoon. So some much colder air moving in too. highs for tomorrow into the upper 40s and low 50s. And we see into tomorrow morning and afternoon that snow kind of encroaching on the front range. We may see a few flurries here into the evening and then it moves right on out as we head past midnight. As for the higher amounts of snowfall, it's going to be down toward Telluride and Durango and then a few inches here between four and eight for the northern and central mountains. As for our three day forecast, we'll be in the 50s Wednesday, 46 Thursday, 44 Friday, and we'll stay in the 40s for the most part as we go into the weekend, but we have a chance for a few flurries on Saturday with highs in the upper 30s, low 40s. Then we'll be in the 50s by the time we get to Tuesday with partly cloudy skies, overnight lows in the mid 30s. So Santa's still doing his thing <laughs> as we're getting closer to the, the deadline tomorrow morning. And I appreciate your optimism about the 8 a.m. wake up. I know, right? Kids, you hear that? <laughs> 8 a.m. Just wait till 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> your parents. All right, thank you, Stacey.